first of all, I want to say that I loved AMD intro, cut the crap, straight to the juice, and I'll do that too. Skip to the timestamp on screen if you just want the CPUs and prices. Let's start. For this new architecture, the Zen 4, we got a totally new socket, the 1718 pins LGA AM5 socket. Yep, Ryzen is switching to LGA, no more bent pins to deal with, at least on the CPU. AMD assured us they will support the socket properly like they did with AM4 through 2025 and beyond. And they will support DDR5 memory only, no DDR4 support at all. I'll briefly mention the motherboard since we are on topic. They launched the X670s and Xtreme variant in September and B650s and Xtreme variant in October, starting at $125. As for CPUs, they announced 4 CPUs in total, the Ryzen 5 7600X, the Ryzen 7 7700X, the Ryzen 9 7900X and 7950X. The core count didn't change, but their frequency absolutely did, sporting more than 5GHz across the board and reaching at the best 5.7GHz at stock. And look at those TDPs, 105 watts for the 7600X. I wonder how people are gonna deal with the heat of the Zen 4 Ryzen 9s. As for prices, it's 700 for the 7950X, 150 for the 7900, 400 for the 7700X, and 300 for the 7600X, all in USD. All of them will be available starting September 27. Let's move to the benchmarks now, which we didn't get plenty of, but the few we got are absolutely mental. Remember though that AMD is a company made to make money, they absolutely cherry pick the tests, so take them with a grain of salt. In one of the first benchmarks we can see the Ryzen 5 7600X going up against a 12900K in 1080p. And the results are pretty much the same, which is crazy when you think about it, given that the 12900K is a top of the line CPU and the 7600X is supposed to be a mid-range CPU. They also provided a Geekbench test with the 12900K at the bottom and all the other CPUs they announced on the right, which is kind of funny to be honest. I will also provide you right now with a reminder to subscribe and leave a like if you want, no pressure. We didn't get any benchmarks for the Ryzen 7 7700X and the Ryzen 9 7900X, but we got some for the Ryzen 9 7950X, going up against its predecessor and the 12900K and absolutely smashing both of them with around 20% plus in gaming and 42% plus in rendering against the 5950X. Furthermore, 9% plus in gaming and 45% plus in rendering against the 12900K. I would have liked more tests, but this is what we got to work with. The IPC instruction per cycle will have a 13% uplist from the previous Zen 3 generation. By 13% IPC uplift, they just mean performance increase, I've done the average of the tests shown here and it gave 13.2. Tests done with a fixed 4.2 GHz frequency, uh, 8 cores, 16 threads, they didn't specify much else. They also claim that despite the 7950X being much faster than a 12900K, it's gonna be 47% more efficient expressed in performance of watts. I have my doubts, but we will see. One cringe thing I want to add to the end, they wanted to give a sneak peek of the RDNA 3 to the audience, but they gave so little information and delivered it in the worst way possible. I'll play the edited clip, watch this. This is our next generation Radeon graphics card powered by our all new RDNA 3 architecture. It, it's very pretty. <laughs> yes, okay, Lisa, it looks like a slightly different RDNA 2 GPU, but give me more info, come on. So what you're seeing here is the highly anticipated title Liza P from our friends at NeoWiz. This game was a breakout hit at Gamescom earlier this month based on its incredible visuals and gameplay. Running in a straight line, amazing gameplay. Woo. Let's take a look at it a bit. Take a look at what, there is absolutely nothing. I'm looking at, at a 30 FPS presentation. Lisa. It looks absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? 
this is all I had to say. I'm sorry if I disappeared for 6 months, but I had some stuff to do. I'm planning on getting a proper VR model so I can stop self-judging my model and I can stop using these drawings. I just have to find the money. <laughs> Comment, like and subscribe if you want and I'll see you in the next one.